VNID 2020. The institution we are featuring today holds the 27th rank on the NIRF table. This institution was established in the year 1960. Welcome to College Suggest. In this video, we are taking a look at the Visveswaraya National Institute of Technology's student stats, its courses, performance in graduation, placements, median salary, top recruiters, the infrastructure, and of course, the fee structure. We are also comparing the performance of VNIT Nagpur with NIT Roorkela, MNIT, and NIT Calicut to see if it's performing on par with its peers. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite college details, college comparisons, courses, careers, and so much more. As always, we will only consider the facts that are submitted by the college to the NIRF for the 2020 ranking. We leave the link in the description below. Teaching, learning, and resources. Here we'll take a look at VNIT Nagpur's approved intake, student strength, faculty information, and financial utilizations. VNIT Nagpur has an approved intake of 922 UG and 500 PG seats. Compared to other institutions on our list, NIT Roorkela has a better intake. VNIT Nagpur consists of 3,855 engineering students in total. Again, NIT Roorkela outshines in terms of its overall student strength. VNIT Nagpur has 271 faculty members and 83.76% of them hold a doctorate. The institution has one faculty member for every 14 students. MNIT Jaipur has a better faculty to student ratio when compared to others. 24 faculty members from VNIT have received highly reputed national and international awards from central government agencies last year. Also 21 students have won international awards in the previous year. VNIT Nagpur has spent over 28 crores as annual capital expenditure, out of which 45.37% was spent on the purchasing of new lab equipment. A majority of its peers have also invested just as much when it comes to the purchase of new lab equipment. Over 130 crores were spent as operational expenses and a huge portion of this went toward the salaries of the staff. Competitors also have spent much on the salaries of the staff. Keeping in mind all of these numbers, VNIT Nagpur has scored 67.7% when it comes to teaching, learning and resources, which contributes to 30% of the overall NIRF score. Research and professional practice. In this parameter, we'll cover VNIT Nagpur's PhD students, patent details, and the funds received through various projects. The number of patents published has dropped to 22, and no patents were granted last year. Other institutions were granted a few patents in comparison. There are 443 students pursuing their PhDs, and 100 scholars graduated with a PhD last year. Most other institutions have better PhD stats. With a total of 155 sponsored projects, the institution has received over 19 crores as sponsored research funding. And with 862 consultancy projects, VNIT Nagpur has received over 20 crores. With this, VNIT Nagpur has scored 45.19% in research and professional practices, which contributes to another 30% of its NIRF score. Graduation Outcomes here, let's analyze this institution's graduation and placement percentages alongside salary packages and top recruiters. UG VNIT offers 8 UG courses. Out of 750 final year students, 678 graduated within the minimum stipulated time. This gives the institution a graduation percentage of 90.4%. From the graduated students, 178 have opted to go on for higher education. NIT Calicut from this list has a better graduation percentage compared to other institutions. From the graduates, 500 students were eligible for placements, while 437 got placed in various companies, achieving a placement percentage of 87.4%. The placed students were offered a median salary package of Rs 6 lakhs per annum. NIT Roorkela has the highest placement percentage, while NIT Calicut students received the highest salary package among the four. Looking at the overall UG performance, VNIT Nagpur has shown improvement in both graduation and placements. VNIT Nagpur also offers 20 PG programs. For a detailed analysis of its PG performance, please visit the link in the description below. Recruiters Some of the top companies that hire students from this institution are Airtel, Accenture, Amazon, JP Morgan, LT, Bajaj, HCL, 
Hero, Barclays, HP, Microsoft, Symantec, and many others. With all of these stats, VNIT Nagpur has scored 69.73% in graduation outcomes, which contributes to 20% of its NIRF score. Outreach and Inclusivity Here we look at just how diverse VNIT Nagpur is. From a total of 3,855 students studying across all years, 1,769 are from within the state and 1,946 are from outside the state. There are also 140 international students in the engineering stream. This clearly shows that VNIT is as diverse as its peers. The overall engineering student count consists of 72.5% of boys and 27.5% of girls. Keeping all of this in mind, VNIT has scored 53.77% for outreach and inclusivity, which contributes to 10% of its NIRF score. Perception In this parameter, we look at the perception of this institution from the view of the public as well as its peers. VNIT Nagpur is one of the finest NITs in the country. However, it has scored 15.56% in public perception, which contributes to 10% of the overall NIRF score. Considering all of the above scores in various parameters, VNIT Nagpur has achieved an overall score of 54.76%. When we look at last year's rank, we can tell that VNIT Nagpur has shown substantial improvement. Admission VNIT admits UG students through the Joint Entrance Examination, Main. For PG admissions, candidates must have a valid GATE score. Location VNIT is located in Nagpur, Maharashtra. The nearest railway station to the institution is the Nagpur station, which is 6.5 kilometers away. The nearest airport is the Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar International Airport, which is 6 kilometers away. Campus Life VNIT's campus spreads over 215.26 acres. Its peers have larger campus areas. VNIT also offers facilities like community shops, a guest house, a health center, a gymnasium, lecture halls, and various other facilities. Some of the sports facilities available on campus include cricket, football, table tennis, hockey, and various other games. Arohi is the annual cultural festival of VNIT Nagpur. Just like this event, various other tech festivals and conferences are also conducted. Fee structure. The approximate fees for a UG student per semester is Rs. 82,350, which is quite low when compared to its peers. Please note that the fee structure mentioned here is subject to variation. Approximately one pays around Rs. 6.58 lakhs as an overall fee. The median salary offered to placed UG students is Rs. 6 lakhs per annum, which means that you can earn back your fees within one and a half years of graduation. Upon looking at all of the facts and the performance of VNIT Nagpur, here are a few of the best picks of the institution. The institution intakes a good number of students for its UG program. The graduation and placement percentages are above average. The institution shows constant improvement when it comes to graduation and placements. A good number of sponsored and consultancy projects. Improved ranking from the previous year. The salary offered to the place students is lower than its peers. So there you have it, that's all you need to know about VNIT Nagpur. What other interesting college reviews would you like to see? Let us know in the comments section below. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.